Hey everyone, Garbage here. Today we're going to be making a PlayStation 1 style 3D model. In this house, we don't delete the default queue, we use it. Okay, look down, mirror modify it, and then we use it to shape the torso of our character. And do some fat little sausages for the arms, and another pair of sausages for the forearms. And this is what we got so far. Take a cylinder, elongate it and then squeeze in the tops and the bottoms. Another very important piece of technology is what I like to call the diaper. This is how you get the cheeks. And so now we just need to make a head. All right, let's go about this big. There's this very specific topology that I'm going for here. Gotta move in the job, cut a diagonal line here, cut another diagonal here. All right, so we're gonna move the forehead back, this back. We'll move the nose bridge a little bit down. Can, I mean, can you see what's going on here? That's like the nose. These are the cheekbones. We're looking at it from the side. This is where the eyeballs are. Silhouette is looking pretty good now. Hat and hair, the most important piece of hair. We're done. Time for texture painting. Start by blocking out the main colors. Let's draw some eyes. Let's do some eyeliner. Add some pupils, a little line for the mouth. Draw in some extra details. She's looking nice and traumatized just like me. All right, check this out. Ooh, that's what we call vertex painting. I like the chest, I like the booty. And so you go from flat to less flat. And right, this is the old school way of making models look 3D. Oh yeah, she can run by the way. One of the first things you're gonna wanna do to give it that PlayStation vibe is to make it wobble. You're also going to want to replicate the affine texture mapping distortion. This is all being done with the help of the PSX Retro Tools add-on. I'll leave a link to that down below. If you want, you could apply some dithering because that's accurate. But I don't really like the way this add-on does it, so I'm not going to do it. Render it out in 320 by 240p and you are good to go. 